All right, guys, we got this uh, memory card with the wetting on it last week. As you can see in the microscope view, there is uh, quite a bit of damage that's done to this card on this side. If we flip it upside down, we see that the card most likely uh, bent when it was plugged in into something. The entire left side of headers had come loose and disconnected. So we're gonna need to see if this is salvageable or if it's just easier to recover data directly from the chip. So in order to do that, I'm gonna add flux to this one side that's damaged, actually it's probably both. And using flow melt, I'm gonna remove this side that is still soldered on. Let's go into chips and we're going to open up chip ID and read. So it automatically detects that there are a bunch of different types that could be associated with it. And once it locates the proper one, it's going to use a pinout scheme for that needed device. Probably because it's got extra power feeds to it and stuff like that. So let's have a look at what our chip appears like. just to understand the general quality and how things are aligned on the inside. Scroll down to the middle, somewhere where the data would be. Yeah, so this is where it's clearly visible that the problem was not related to the memory chip, but rather the integrity of the card. So let's go ahead and just make sure that the tips all line up in a straight line and they do. From what it appears we got straight line going, going through here now we're just going to clear all these results we don't need to keep them and read the chip and now we're going to read it into a dump file select optimal speed and let it run Okay, I'm gonna put this on pause because I feel like waiting for another hour is more than what I wanna spend on this case. I feel like we'll be able to find a solution faster than this. Let's have a look. What do we gotta do?
I'll go into the Explorer view, you can see that the card is now getting recognized and even displays content. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's definitely faster than reading the entire 16 gig device. The controller must have busted off as well. So after running it with the hot iron, maybe a disconnected pad got attached again and now it's working. So in this case, I would go and build a map of all of the used sectors. And once that's built, got to clone it out. And with the clone finished, the case would be considered as completed. So this is it for today, guys. Hopefully, you know, you don't have to go through such troubles in your life when you lose your precious memories on a memory card. But if you did and you need the information from a device like this, check the link in the description box. It will take you to our website and you can get in touch with us. We'll help you out. Thank you for watching. Everybody who is new here, welcome. Subscribe to this channel. It's all about data recovery here. For those who are not new, thanks guys again for tuning in and I will see you all in the next episode.